Hey everyone, I feel like it's been forever since I filmed a video. Our living situation has changed a bit and it's become very challenging to make videos, especially with audio. So I'm trying to figure out creative ways to film, which means like filming with no sound and then doing a voiceover. So that's what I'm trying today. So today I thought I would show you how I set up my personal size Moterm Lux planner. I've been in this planner for a while and I wanted to give you guys an updated flip through, but I thought it would be fun to do it this way like I'm setting it up. So this is the planner and this is how it looks on all the different sides. I love this planner so much. It has tons of pockets and bigger rings than the regular size Moterm. It's a bit floppy, which I found a way to fix. I'll show you guys later in the video. Um, first of all, in the front pocket, the front zip pocket, I put my favorite and most used stickers in here, the ones I use kind of like on a daily basis. And so I keep it right in the front for easy access. And then in the front slip pocket, I keep two of my favorite sticky notes. I love these sizes. It's two and three quarters by three, I believe, and then a two by two sticky note. And then in the front card pockets, I put a washi card with Simply Gilded Washi, as well as some washi from my shop, um, a Kubo and Lucy a flower clip I forgot what it's called rosette or something in the pink color I love it I put one of our uh, free printables the owner card that's on our website right now as well as a couple of my brand new business cards so that's all that I keep there in the front card pockets and then the last thing is just a few sheets from our notepad in the shop um, I keep in the front secretarial pocket. And then I have a bunch of dashboards and dividers that I add in. The first one is my favorite, like leopard print one from the Planning NP. Then I have some um, pocket, like a pocket page for business cards. I add mini Instax pictures in there of my goals, my health goals, my home goals, and my business goals, as well as some pictures of my kids on the back. I add in some vellum, um, and then this fly leaf that came with the planner, which I love for the extra pen loop, and then the card slots on the back. In those card slots, I add my task cards, which I'm still trying to figure out um, how I'm using these. I used them for a while and then I stopped using them, but I wanted to try using them again for different things I have to remember. These cards are from Catspresso. I made my own labels, so I just, just keep it right there in that fly leaf. And then I have two sets of side tabs, one for my yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily calendars. I have this little like inbox or today bookmarker. I just made myself out of a top tab divider and added some sticky pockets to it. And then my second set of side tabs are for wellness, personal, shop, and content. And then in the back, I really highly recommend a um, page lifter to protect your pages when opening and closing your planner. And then I go ahead and add my inserts. So I have a ton of inserts to add. Um, most of this is as it's always been. I added a few new ones. So in the front tab, the year tab, I add my year at a glance calendar and my goals inserts, um, which I've shown you guys before many times. I also have a bookmark there, which I bookmark whatever I'm planning, like my day or my week, etc. In my month, divider I add all my monthly inserts January through December I keep a full year of inserts in my planner at all times and then luckily I just opened up to the June there that was by luck but um, right after the current month which right now is June I add this monthly task insert which I put just some tasks for the shop there and then at the back of my monthly inserts I keep that important dates insert which I use for pre-planning the following year and then in my weekly section I have my weekly inserts I've been using these like quadrant kind of inserts which I love from our shop 
And then in our daily section, I keep a whole month's worth of daily inserts. Um, so a ton of inserts there, but I do use them most days. So I keep one there right next to my inbox um, divider, and then I keep all the rest in behind that. And these ones, I do have these in the shop, but these ones I made special for myself with the extra grid note paper on the back, um, as you can see there. And then I go to my back sections. The first one is wellness, which I keep some tracking inserts there um, for tracking different health things, mostly health things, because this is the wellness um, section. I'll show you guys more about that later, but I keep just those there. And then in the next section, which is personal, I just keep one of our finances insert to track our spending each week. And then the next section is shop, which I have a couple inserts for tracking business stats, um, like revenue, expenses, and all that kind of stuff. And then my last divider is for content. And then I just created this new content checklist, which I keep in the back and then I have some extra grid note paper which I divide up and put in each of those four sections in the back so I just keep extra note paper there for any projects or note taking for those different categories um, these back tabs are mainly for tracking and project planning and then since I do carry my planner with me everywhere. I use the back section as a wallet. So I have all my cards and I use card skin stickers from our shop to cover them and make my pockets look cute. I keep our COVID vaccination cards in the slip pocket as well as some cash. Um, I love these slip pockets just to keep everything separated. And then I have receipts there in the very back. And then in the big back pocket, I keep this ugly piece of cardboard. I've been meaning to get a cute one, but for now this does the job. I keep it there to put a little more structure to my planner. And then I just keep miscellaneous pieces of paper back there that I need to tend to. And then of course I have my favorite gray mild liner and my erasable friction pen there in the pen loops. And then I wanted to show you guys that um, the way I mark my places like the current month or the current week is with these little page flags. These ones are from Villa Beautiful. I love the animal print, of course. So I just keep it there to mark the current month and week. So that's the setup. And then I thought it'd be fun to do a little flip through of how it all came together. <music> 